For almost all of my life, I had never shipped or mailed anything out. I've only ever received packages from stores that I've ordered from, so when I was planning out and working on launching my own online shop, the one area where I was most nervous about and did the most research for was the shipping process. Today's video is sponsored by Munbin, but more on them later. Hi, I'm Jen, a self-employed digital artist and small business owner. I've been running my online art shop for over a year now, and I've gotten some experience with packaging and shipping out orders. So if you are curious as to see how I do it, today I'd like to share my process from preparing packaging material to dropping off orders. To start off, here are my essentials that I use to pack and ship orders. I have custom printed vellum paper to wrap my products, thank you cards and freebie stickers to include in every order to show my extra appreciation to every single one of my customers, a digital scale to weigh every package to get accurate pricing for shipping cost. Forever stamps for small, flat, and domestic U.S. orders. And global forever stamps for small, flat, international orders. I also have custom printed 5x7 inch craft envelopes. Various sizes of padded and rigid mailers. And the newest addition to my setup is the Bluetooth shipping label printer from Munbin to print out shipping labels. Now, I must add that you don't need every single thing here, but personally for me, I like to add small little touches to my packages to give my customers a fun and exciting unboxing experience. Packing orders is one of the tasks within running my small business that I thoroughly enjoy. There's just something about seeing what each of my customers has picked out and knowing that my art gets to go out into others' home to bring some positivity and happiness that makes this moment so special to me. This is where I feel that I can make a personal connection with every single customer because this is when I take time to write out your name on the top of your thank you card and sign it at the bottom. If I'm left a kind message on an order, sometimes I also like to take this moment to write a little reply to include with the package. When all the items and extra goodies are gathered together and double counted, I then wrap all the flat items up in the custom printed vellum paper. I make these myself and I currently have four designs that I rotate through. And to seal the vellum, I use a special thank you card that I designed and made myself at home too. Since this order also includes an enamel pin, it is considered bulky and will go into a padded mailer. With everything sealed inside the mailer, I then weigh the whole package and write the name, order number, and weight on the front of the mailer. If I have multiple orders to pack, I will repeat this process almost exactly. The slight difference comes when an order is going into an envelope. Orders that are small and include only flat items like stickers, sticker sheets, greeting cards, bookmarks, etc. go into an envelope. These are craft envelopes that I get from Amazon. They are 5x7 inches and I like to print my return address and a few cute little details on these. I put the contents of the order inside and weigh it on my scale and on the top front right corner, I write the name, order number, and weight. With the orders packed, the next step in the process is to purchase shipping labels for the mailers and add stamps to the envelopes. To purchase my shipping labels, I use Shippo. They are a multi-carrier shipping software for e-commerce businesses and it conveniently links to my Squarespace website. I first input the correct weight of each package. All of my packages are small and usually weigh no more than a few ounces, so I just make sure to check that the weight on here is also in ounces. Then I select my shipping option. 
Shippo offers multiple options through various carriers, and you can browse their selection here on the right side. I, however, always use the USPS First Class Package Mail Parcel option, just because it's usually the cheapest option for tracked mail that also fits within my estimated shipping delivery policy. And with that selected, I can now purchase the label and print it out. You're also given the option to print out a packing slip here, but I usually don't print that or include that in my orders. In the past, before I had a thermal printer, I would print my labels onto an 8.5 by 11 sheet of sticker paper. I could fit up to two labels per sheet, but it would leave some wasted paper, and the process took slightly longer since I had to individually cut out each label. This is why I am so happy to finally have this label printer from Mundbin, the sponsors of today's video. They have kindly sent me their Bluetooth shipping label printer, which supports Bluetooth connection for iOS and Android systems and prints labels anytime, anywhere. Weighing only 2.3 pounds, this shipping label printer is easy to carry and move around. It prints with 203 dpi clarity, which helps identify barcodes quickly and easily. It's also compatible with Shopify, Etsy, UPS, and other major shipping and shopping platforms. This is the ideal addition to your business because it prints at super clear quality, even at high speeds and with continuous printing. With advanced thermal printing technology, there is no need for ink or toner, which is a huge plus to effectively reduce the cost of supplies. So once again, I'd like to give my greatest thanks to Mudbin for sending me this label printer. And if you'd like to check them out for yourself, you can find the link in the description below. Now let's get back to preparing my orders for shipping. After purchasing my label, I now just print it out with my new thermal printer and place the label onto the correct mailer. For the orders that go into the envelopes, I write the customer's address on the front center. And for domestic orders weighing no more than one ounce, I only need one forever stamp. If the order weighs more than that, then I will need to add additional postage. For those orders, I use these additional one ounce stamps. You can purchase forever stamps and additional ounce stamps at your local post office or online, which is what I do. On the USPS website, they offer a large variety of stamp designs that come in sheets, books, or coils, and they offer free shipping to your home or business. I personally only use and buy forever stamps because they can be used to mail a one ounce letter regardless of when the stamps are purchased or used and no matter how prices may change in the future. So in other words, if I were to buy forever stamp today at the current value of 63 cents per stamp, and if the cost to mail out a one ounce letter goes up, I can still use the same forever stamps that I previously bought. The value always matches whatever the current cost is. For international orders, the process is very similar. I use one global forever stamp for orders weighing no more than one ounce and add any additional postage if necessary. You can also use any other combination of stamps that add up to $1.45. But I prefer to use the global forever stamps as it's easier to differentiate between my domestic and international orders. Plus, I can ensure that I am not overspending on my stamps. Just like domestic forever stamps, global forever stamps can be purchased at your local post office or online. My policy for shipping orders is to have them sent out within one to three business days from the day that the order was placed. So when I have all my orders packed and ready to be shipped, I have a few options for drop off. I can either take my packages to the closest post office, drop it in a blue collection box, or what I currently do is use the outgoing mailbox in my neighborhood. I don't usually get too many orders all at once. Most of the time, I only have a few orders to ship out, so using the outgoing mail slot is a perfect option for me. After a recent shop update, however, when I do have more orders, I typically would go to the post office to drop off all my packages. So that is my current process for preparing and sending out my orders. It has slowly evolved since I opened my shop and I'm sure it will continue to have some tweaks as I continue to grow and expand my business. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a like. 
and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Additionally, don't forget to subscribe for more art-related videos, and if you want to further support me and my small business, please consider taking a look at my shop. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!